My balls. I don't want my balls sticking to my legs. You, you joke, but that is probably just as uncomfortable as your vagina eating your thong. Oh, oh, did anyone else just, just, just get a waft come their way? I just got a waft come my way. Ah, but if a woman is manspreading, then is it still manspreading? Or, or is it uh, uh, clam spreading? I don't know. Manspreading is when- Not a word. Oh, this fucking world. When a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. The intention is to not crush our bollocks. Believe me, if your ovaries swung between your legs like a pendulum, you would treat them with the utmost care too. And were all those men all right with you filming their lower halves? People around you are relegated to a very small portion, but the key to man spreading is not noticing. We well, you sound like you're an expert, so I can only assume you are sporting a hairy set of cojones yourself. Grow up on two different tracks. People who man spread just are socialized not to worry about it. I worry about sitting down. We do worry about sitting down. Velocity, angle, all the factors are there and there is a very real danger that we can sit on ourselves. I have so many vivid memories as a child of my mum telling me to close my leg. Yes, Wafty, and I know why. My laptop fogs up every time you come on the screen. Close your damn legs. Gender, we're constantly working towards trying to get to this middle. Well, that sounds fucking scary. This week of manspreading is definitely going to make me feel anxious as much as a super strong feminist, I want to say it won't. It should make you feel anxious. You have no reason to see with your legs open. You might as well have called this challenge feminists are utter pricks on public transport for a week. Kind of secretly hope to annoy some men. Well, you can take that fucking box right fucking now, Wafty. <laughs> Oi, you in the middle. Spread your legs. <laughs> All right, close enough. That's my first train trip as a man spreader. I just feel like a monster already. How can you do this every day without being conscious of it? That's not man spreading. That's just bad posture and that will give you back troubles later on in life. I just manspread on the bus for maybe a five minute ride for the first time and it wasn't even half full. Look, here are my legs as proof. And I was already getting glared at so I think this is going to be a kind of long week. Are you sure you weren't getting glared at because you were filming your crotch on public transport? It's day two of... Rehab? You look fucking rough, Wafty. Man spreading, and I forgot that I had to do this. I because you don't need to do it, you fucking crackhead. I think whenever a woman takes up space, she's considered bossy, she's considered aggressive. There are a lot of stereotypes surrounding black women and whether or not we're angry or- Hey, one minute and 38 seconds before someone mentioned race. Add that to your graph on how fucking ridiculous BuzzFeed is. This is valuable data, people. We're dominant, and so maybe a lot of the reasons why I do minimalize my presence is because I don't want to be perceived or engage with those stereotypes. Look, that was not manspreading, but I will not deny you looked comfortable as fuck. I just got my nails done. Slut. And I manspread during my entire manicure, and nobody really seemed to notice. Probably because the Chinese immigrants who did your nails don't have a word for manspreading in their language. I'm not sure if it was because it was all women and we were just all kind of in our own world or what, but it was kind of awesome. Yeah, you do realize they laughed their asses off as soon as you left though, don't you? Halfway through the week and really not enjoying this experiment at all. How is this an experiment? The only thing worth noting is that you've gone three days without smoking any crack and hey, 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 we're proud of you, Wafty. I'm still giving my seat up to people who need it because of course I am. What, men don't do that? This was supposed to be about spreading your legs on public transport. Pick a fucking argument. What is it between their legs that's so important? Balls. That it requires two to three seats. Bloody big balls. There are kids, families, women, and elderly people standing up. Well, fuck them. I mean, except the elderly, they've done their time of giving up seats for other people, but little Timmy can fuck right off, mate. He ain't paid shit, and I've got a job to go to. I saw a guy who was taking up two seats. When I sat down, I spread my legs out, which kind of pushed his leg into his own seat, and he turned to me and gave me a dirty look and said, seriously? Yeah, you just touched someone on public transport. You know the rules, motherfucker. And if he did that to you, you'd probably scream sexual harassment or some shit like that.
Women are expected to be quiet, small and almost invisible. Whereas men can be this boisterous slobs and it's all good. Today and Wafty, the smell from between your legs has clearly knocked that man unconscious. I beg you, stop man spreading. Instead of feeling the confidence that I've kind of been feeling the rest of the week, I started to feel a little guilty while I was sitting there taking up two seats. Two seats, you big fat fucking bastard. Um, a guy came up to sit next to me and instead of moving over like I normally would, I kind of just had to sit there with my legs out and instead of saying something to me, he just sat on the edge of the seat the entire time. See, I wouldn't do that. I'd ask you to move and if you didn't, I'd just fucking sit on you. But the difference is I would ask you to move. Has anyone at BuzzFeed tried that? Or are they continuing to perpetuate the idea that everything must be done for you automatically? <laughs> So I've come across another person, quote unquote, man spreading. Was this bit filmed on the seafront? Because I smell fish. But wait, they identify as female. <gasps> Women can take up space as well? Yeah, you can. And you do, with shopping bags, prams, handbags, and your divvy girl mates. No, I'm a confident person. I tend to make myself small even when the situation doesn't call for it. And I kind of felt uncomfortable man spreading even though there was no one around me. It may make you uncomfortable, but men actually need to sit like that. It's a necessity of life for us, like oxygen, video games, and masturbation. Whoa, what the fuck was up with her face then? Look at that! Wafty, love, look at what this detox has done to you. Smoke some crack! I've not enjoyed this week at all. The very first day where a group of people came on, they were going to a game and they were all desperate for a seat and I was taking up three seats. There are people stood up in the aisle and you've got your legs up on the seats. That's not manspreading, that's just being a total dick. You really lost the aim of this experiment somewhere along the line, didn't you? And they started talking about personal space. All their eyes were just on me, and they were mostly women. So if it was a group of dudes, I would have been like... Look at that! She just looked that other girl dead in the eye, smiled, and shook her head. I would fucking slap a bitch for that. Yeah. I thought that manspreading would kind of give me this air of disregard. Whereas it actually gave everyone else air. Nasty, putrid air. Because I thought that I worried too much about what people think, and I realized that I worried just enough. You should be concerned with whether or not the people around you are comfortable, because that means you're a good community member. And you should also be concerned about going on public transport when you have a yeast infection. My favorite part of this exercise was easily when I got to sit next to men who were taking up way too much space. And so you did it too. Fucking top hypocrisy, BuzzFeed. Just brilliant. And just forcefully work my way into the seat and without words say, hey, I deserve to sit here. Oh, Rosa Parks has got nothing on you, has she? Be forced to manspread really showed me how up your own ass you have to be as a person. To <laughs> yeah, this video has really shown me that too, Wafty. To not be conscious of those around you. To the man that's taking up too much space on a bus, on the plane, on the bench. What, that bench there? Could you not find a crowded bench? Why didn't BuzzFeed pay someone to set it up like they normally do? We see you. You don't need that much room. To the young women out there, I say, you should definitely be aware of your surroundings. If there's something that you want, if there's something you want to say, if there's a position that you want to hold, ha. take up that space. You deserve that space. Oh, Rosa Parks has got nothing on you. Oh, shit, no, actually, never mind. Look, the only thing you deserve because you exist is my contempt. And you've got that. That's your birthright. Hold on to it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And remember, you can only really spread them if you've got them.